Hello, hope everyone is staying safe. I am Latin. I play games with Epstein guys, blueprints, and builds for the workshop. This will be our first software in play and learn walkthrough. My goal is to teach you how I play and provide tips and strategies to success. Software Inc. is a tackle management builder game created by one guy, Kenneth. His company name is Core Dumping. First thing in any game is to learn the menus. Okay, so first thing we is new game. Let's start a new game. As soon as you get into the game, we're going to review the menus. Founder, name, gender. You could go through these, play with them, create your character here's even glasses or shades change colors the first tip i'm going to give you all these hex colors if you know how to use control copy control paste that's all you need to use these control copy control paste and any hex color in the game first tip of the day okay once your character is set up you're going to save them and the next time you come in all you got to do is load Select the character, and there he is. Founder's name is Al Fresh. So let's select the company name. Be very original. First game, first tech, first name. Oh, well, before we get into skills, which I was about to jump to. Personality, I like to go with extrovert, optimist, leaning towards first learner, very social, in the middle of lazy and stress. I try to stay away from stress when hiring. And Usually, if I do hire somebody with stress, they have to have very high skill levels, specialization levels. Okay, that out the way. Back to lead, down to zero. You do not need lead skills in the beginning of the game. Service, down to zero. You do not need service skills in the beginning of the game. So it's a mid-level games skills that will be needed. Your skill level is actually how well you know your applications or whatever you're working with. The important thing is your specializations. So we want three in system for designer, three in system for 2D. We have one left, so we'll put it in audio, same for programmer. System, three, 2D, three, one. In reference to art, Whenever you're going to go hire an artist, they're never going to find an artist with more than two. So I'm going to go two and one. Give them a head start on the next one. So let's say that's the development skills, and you're going to select your leadership skills. Leadership skills, you always want to be able to have a leader who can do hiring. Before hiring, the most important thing is handle education. So education first. Socializations. Hold meetings, socialize with employees, boosting compatibility, these are all efficiencies, boost which you want the team to have. And you always want them to be able to hire if you can. And then automation. It's important for design, programming, and art if you're going to basically be doing PM. Depending on who, usually I, I'll just have my uh, programmers handle the PM. So I usually hire program leaders with automation. Multitasking is great in the beginning for the support team and marketing teams. So service teams improve the effective and development teams is there and then finally improve the effectiveness with any task. These are mostly service as far as I'm concerned. So I stay away from them. You don't need them in the beginning. Next thing is service skills. Support. Very important. You hire medium salary. Everything, everybody I hire across the board is medium salary with the exception of law. We're going to go marketing three because that's more important to get your marketing done. And then second is support. You got a good marketing team. You got a good support team. You're ahead of the game. So that's it. The next thing is you're starting from the 25,000, starting years 1980, difficulty medium. Days of the month, we're going to leave it as one. So we're going to go pick a rental. Rental reception, cheaper than the garage. Sounds good to me. What I always use, for reasons I will not say. As soon as you get here, the first thing you do is stop the presses. Stop time. 
we're gonna do something very unconventional learn the menus development software this is where you develop your software your releases will show up in releases servers I'm gonna go in here there is a server downstairs in the basement in this build we're gonna make this a SCM 1.0 we're gonna rename it to SCM 1.0 you get 250 megabytes of service, which is basically five servers back in 1980 in the basement, which you could use. You can't upgrade them. You can't service them. You can't do anything. So they will become obsolete after a while. But enjoy them while you can. They are free. And that is how you do. You basically select the server, name it. I look, you like to use a version, so 1.0, next one will be 2.0 when we move to a new building or we add one to this building. And the next order of business is to learn your menus, your services, like I said, contracts will be done here. Research, project management, the very later game. Manage your employees, let's go in here. Manage our employee, select employee roles, order role. Every, and every employee, the minute you hire him, auto roll him. Very important. You don't want them working on stuff that they have no skills or specializations in. And that's what will happen if you don't auto roll them. Let's review him. He's got above average design, program, and art skills. He's got two left in design, two points left in programming, and one point left in art. And my suggestion for art is to have two of each. And here, but three of each will suffice. Hardware, you, it's not important. Early game, that's for later games, so you don't have to worry about hardware. Okay, and here you could also do change roles, change teams. Whenever you create a team, you could also create a team right here. Change benefits, benefits are later once you get into the money. Education, oh, change benefits. This is, this is a tip, another tip. Our first come in here change his benefits his benefits not anybody else's benefits so you could have your leaders different benefits than your regular people or employees not regular people i shouldn't say that be politically correct yes if you want to select all details of the employee shows here and if you want to find an employee i've never fired an employee other than picking one on the higher date and realizing i hired the wrong person I can utilize him somewhere else. He's got good skill sets. I use it. Other than that, that's the only time I would release somebody. Never really gone and fired anybody after I've had them working for a while. Okay, the next thing is hire. This is where you hire service artists, designers, programming leads, learn your menus, learn them on your own. Okay, we're going to select the core team. We're going to basically add an hour to the beginning of the day. At two hours to the end of the day, we're going to do 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. This will change once you start hiring people. We're going to do February. We're going to do February for 10 months. So we're going to do February to November vacation. Not January, December vacation. Sorry. HR management. 5,000 pro employees what I'd like to have. So we have one employee, one founder. He gets $5,000. Handle wages, handle complaints. Best roles. Designers, programmers, and artists always get the best roles. If you have a service person, hired for. That would be your support, your marketing, and your law. Hired for. That's the way I do it. That's the way I suggest you do it. You'd make your own decisions in life. Education level, we're going to go to three stars. Education amount, negative one. For designers, programmers, and artists, negative one. Anything else, I usually put three. This is if you want your boss, to your leader, to hire anybody, you put here how many people you want them to hire and in specializations you tell them what you want to hire the leader i want them hr automation and socialization for design programming and artists those are my leaders system 2d and audio is all you need in the beginning 
That's what I want them to develop. Been training and working. 3D network and hardware comes later on. And for support is either support. And when we hire support, I will show you what kind of support person you want. It's very important. I'll give you that tip once we do a higher support. In marketing, we just hire a marketer. There's no thing special there. You just have to know your stars once you get into marketing. Because if you get into service, marketers, you always want to create press releases with videos. Create press releases with photos and create press releases. So you always want a medium salary to start with, high salary later on okay that's it and the staff this is staff you have you want to hire staff you hire them in the top you want to use temp staff you use them here temp staff is in the beginning that's what you use in the beginning you got to keep the office clean you got to keep the computers working anything mechanical you call maintenance and if you start making printing your own Software, do you want any queries? My suggestion is my queries don't use these, they're too expensive. Complaints, that's where you're going to get complaints. We'll handle them once we come across them. Employee benefits, we did that before, we're not, that's later game. Okay, all software in the market you could find here, all the software companies, anything, all information you want to review this is all the markets first tech you see how we are on top the zero fence for 25 that's because it's sorted by hours first not sorted by anything if we put net worth we're still on top until we hit it again then we're at the bottom highest to lowest this is the uh, software times that's a newspaper distribution channel will open one later Power manufacturing and digital distribution. We'll cover that later again. Deals. We want to do deals. These are all the kind of deals you do. That's the only kind of deals we're going to be doing in the beginning design deals. So if you come in here, you hit this, hit design deals. Those are the only kind of deals we want to be doing, and you need a receptionist to start doing deals. And my suggestion is to have three stars in business reputation before you start doing deals. We will cover that later. That is our goal. Three stars business reputation. That is going to be our first goal after we set up the office. And as a final tip, this is bonds. You want to invest in bonds? Which is to the top, do a deposit. We just deposited $24,900. We left with $100 to set up our office. Why did I do that? To prove a point. Okay, that's it. These other finances we'll review later. Want to take a loan? You could have all of them stocks, investing stocks, insurance, investments, and those are the finances. Over here, you move up a floor, move down a floor, play with them. You want to remove the lighting, show the lighting. This is room labels once you start using them. This will show, in fact, if we, I think when we pull up, we're going to show that. That's where our server room is. And this is the wire mode. Shows, make sure that the servers are connected. And this is the room. So you want to assign na room names. I rooms to a group, ungroup a room. Go that over that later. And this is our build. So we're going to have to build an office. Put it together. So always select office that we you only show you stuff that's pertinent to your office. And the first thing we want to do is get two tables in here. I'm like, oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> okay, we don't have enough money. So what do we do? We go to contracts. And this is how we're going to basically make our money. You could sort in this game by the titles, menu titles. So I usually sort these slowest to highest. These are game assets, embedded systems, logistic applications and in the beginning you want to do bad or horrible so if you look at all of these you'll see expected quality here so we're going to select the first one 
and before you select it, you want to sign a server through it. Want to know why? Hover over it, read it, learn it, know it. I'm not going to do all the work for you. You're going to have to learn to read the menus. Okay, we're going to accept the first game. And if you want to see what do you accept, you accepted a bad. You got to know it before you accept it. <laughs> okay, this one is bad. Expected quality is bad. So that's two. Embedded systems. And I'm selecting stuff that I know that we can do. Like with programmers at system any level, usually in the beginning, everything is system in 2D. So don't go giving your character all audio in no 2D, thinking that uh, you're going to go build the audio system. Audio comes in later game. System 2D in the beginning. So we've selected 1, 2, 3. And we have to know this is another horrible system only. 4. I select them. I put them on hold. You can only put an item on hold for two days. The day you selected them and the, and the next day. After that, you have to do them. Now, let me look at these again. This is bad. That's horrible. We gotta push that up. Push this up by mistake. This is horrible, so that's fine. And this one is bad. You want the horribles up top. I should have organized that from the beginning. Save me some time. But I also wanted to show you guys how to, after you select them, how you know what you select. So, that's it. Now we have $8,620. But where did that money come from? Each time you select the contract, you get up front money. If you look at the contract, the contract tells you upfront money 2525 learn the menus all you have to do is read these i day one i read it all and i said oh upfront money so you don't need money to start simple concept so you always get up front money impossible mode don't need upfront money i proved that we put the 24 9 in the bank we had a hundred we bought a table we had ten dollars left and now we had eight thousand six twenty so we could proceed back and furnish our office this game also gives you rewards we're going to visit that in a second because i see we, i just realized we have a reward uh calculator for programmers tablets for artists and designers inbox for managers leaders I always give them an inbox. If you look at this, well, you, I can't point to it and, and, and highlight it at the same time, but that green level is highest for leaders. So this is most beneficial to a leader. This is most beneficial to a programmer. This is most beneficial to an artist and then a designer. And this is most beneficial to service. And a clock is beneficial to us all. I'm going to pick a clock, and the reason you're picking a clock, it improves effectiveness. How about with a clock? Room boosts effectiveness. What else will boost our, if our room? How about a bookshelf? We're going to go nicely there. Bookshelf. Room boost skills. And we're going to get a picture. What does that boost? I don't like that picture. Flowers, no. Our leader needs, oh, you could change the colors, by the way. Our leader needs a, a computer to keep him on point, something to focus on. And if you click on effective, then it improves the mood. What else improves the mood in the room? A plant. So there's a plant. So our room is all set with the exception of lighting. We just need lighting. Okay, click on the room after it's all set up. We're gonna move over here. You want it to be 400 lux, 200 environment, two Cs, 100% acoustics. 
Right now it's assigned to anyone. This is how you terminate a lease. I just realized we have we have this room leased too. We shouldn't be. Let's terminate that lease. That was my mistake. I have to look at that uh, building. Okay, uh, rent is $158 a month. Effectiveness is 10%. Skills are 25 and mood is 10%. Your room is all set up. You're all ready for day one. Now, what do you, else do you need? What else are we going to do? Come on, people, think. Come over here. Pick an antivirus. Design an antivirus. Let's give it a nice, clean name. Because we all want clean code. We're going to select the SEM server. Remember, always select the SEM server. Want to know why? Hover over it. Read the source control management says when you're selecting your first design document, you want to always create a framework. Name it with, with a version 1.0 or whatever you, you want to name it. And then everybody else will tell you, you start selecting here, start selecting here, start selecting here. I'm going to tell you don't. Go here, move this to the middle, and then then what each one does. You see how those two jump? File quarantine is mostly expected interest is eighty two percent, waste is zero. They have this thing with auto balance. You could auto balance it and you still have two mil six hundred and seventy two thousand nine fifty one and you could build this in two years. If I select one more thing here, it's still two years. File encryption, I think, is important. And expected interest is 94%. Can we get it better? No, you can't get it better than 94%. Expected interest 100%. Only 12% waste. Can we get it better than that? Auto balance? No. We can't get it better than that. I'd rather have more passive product than monitoring okay so that's it that's our first piece of software that we have to build it's going to take two years now you could add more to this you're just adding more waste right now but i concentrate on mostly we got two million six hundred and seventy two thousand and so we reach the expected interest is a hundred percent so i'm going to go back to the beginning set the price 59.99 is going to be our price Clean code, select the 2D editor. Uh, no, 2D editor. Uh, what I normally do is tech level, look for the latest one. That's got great. If you don't have a great, you set up for good. But if you have the latest tech level for great, this thing says not compatible with selected tech levels. We're going to use that anyway. And the game selects two operating systems for you. I normally leave that alone because if you start adding more, you're just going to add more time to it. So, so recommended designers is three, recommended programmers is five, recommended artists is one. How do I get around that? Develop. We notice it says the team is too small for this. We have a designer with three stars in system. We have a designer with three stars in 2D. And we have a designer with one star in audio. That's three people as far as I'm concerned. Programming system, same thing. We have the capabilities. Only requirement for this application is system 2D. We have the skills. We don't need an artist. It says recommend the artist one. I don't understand why it is doesn't show any art here. But we also have a recommended. We have an artist. So that's why in the beginning you select everything. You reduce, I mean. You reduce leadership and service, rises everything up and you're able to. Okay, so we're going to basically, we're all set for day one. Started with 20,000. We set up our office, 24,900 in the bank, net to 31,000. That's why you watch these videos. Okay, we're going to move on. Today, Started. Our founder's day one. That was our day one. That was our founder's day one. And he's going to be coming soon. And before he gets here, I'm taking these off. You want to always start these on the day when you have a full day to do them. Don't start them, pick them the day before, and then not start them, because then they'll start counting down from that date. If I were to leave them on hold for one more day, I could do that one more day, but can't do that other than that. One more day would allow me two more days to do them. Well, actually, one more day to do them, but between 
a 24 hours time span okay so we got it move forward we raised everything leveled up to three i put everything up to level three priority so you're gonna work on these first and then our stuff second time in the clock horrible requires green only that's horrible that's horrible that's horrible you know in doubt check it here oh no that was a bad my bad we should still be fine. Bad I normally let it go to there. The first one got by me. Okay, if it's cold and it's a little past the green line, that's good enough. If it's art, I let it go further past the green line. So these two will go further past the green light. I'll show you why. When they get into the 50s, I'm good. Remote, remote. You don't have to do bug fixes, so I give it more time. Finish? Yes. Don't ask this again. You could turn that off. Okay, $7,329 is satisfactory. That's the one that I did not wait till I got the orange. I'm finished. Outstanding. That's the one that I did get the orange. And then these two are basically, this one was horrible and that one was horrible. So you have two bug fixes, so you could finish that. Oh, it came up inadequate. No, we got to fix more bugs. Looks like the game changed. Okay, this one didn't. Outstanding. So we're almost at one star. We had two little boo-boos there. We had the uh, art, which we didn't let go to orange. So that's it. That's basically day one. We learned to set up our office with no money. We banked the 24.9. We started with 30,000. We're up to 55,000 now with the money in the bank. And we got some of our software, some of our first uh, antivirus done. Not a lot of it, but some of it done. So next thing is, like always, upfront money. We want upfront money. We always select these contracts the night before. Unless you guys go into education or will not be in the office. And when you select them, you always put them on hold. If you select them, don't put them on hold. Might as well not have selected them anyway. You may just fail them if he's out of the office. So you don't release him until you know he's in office. That one is a horrible. We learned already. Move him up if it's a horrible. And, and this one is horrible and over here you could it's basically the system levels program required your specialization requirements i didn't cover that before so that's horrible right we just said that and this one is bad that one is bad and that one is and this one is bad but it's more money so what are we going to do so if you read this this is more money basically cost per bug is 78 dollars so cost per bug is 50 dollars cost per bug is 46 dollars so and they're all bad, so I lose less if I go with a cost per bug $46 than I do the other one. Move these up two, three, move them up two to three, two to three. Okay, that's it. Important thing is make sure your office is clean, make sure your computer is at, a, at least at 70%, no lower than 70%. We have a reward here, I know what it is. Let's go to rewards. If you could, you review the rewards, they'll tell you exactly what you have to do to get a reward. Claim reward, and it's going to be a chair. I'm almost sure it's going to be a chair. No, oh, look at that. I was wrong. That one was wrong. Right well. Okay, so let's go home. So that's going to basically conclude our day one. I think we've done enough damage here. We put a dent. We're 40,000 now, 65. In fact, let's do, let's keep our, our bank at 10,000. How's that? We got 40, let's bank 30. Let's keep our bank at 10, I mean, our, our pocket 10,000 liquid. The rest will invest and see how much we get. And that's it for day one. We'll pick this up tomorrow and see what we could do. Out. Oh.